Welcome to the Step 1 of Your Study Guide, and in this lesson, we learn about the lysosomal storage diseases of GM2, ceramide trihexazide, sphingomyelin, and sulfatide into ceramide. This happens in the lysosome. Hexosaminidase A converts GM2 to GM3, and a deficiency of this enzyme results in a buildup of GM2. This is known as Tay-Sachs disease. The symptoms of Tay-Sachs disease are progressive neurodegeneration, developmental delay, hyperacusis or the sensitivity to sound, hyperflexia or the overreactivity of the reflexes, lysosome with onion skin, a cherry red spot on the macula, and no hepatosplenomegaly that you will see in Neiman Pick. The enzyme that catalyzes ceramide trihexazide to cerebroside is alpha-galactosidase A. The deficiency in it causes ceramide trihexazide to build up. This disease is called Fabry disease, means that it is an X-linked recessive gene. Fabry disease in the early stage is composed of a triad of symptoms, episodic peripheral neuropathy, angiokeratoma, and hypohidrosis, which is sweating less than usual. The later stages of Fabry disease causes progressive renal failure and cardiovascular disease. Aryl sulfatase A catalyzes sulfatide to galactocerebroside. A deficiency of this enzyme results in the buildup of sulfatide, a metachromatic leukodystrophy, which is characterized by central and peripheral nervous system demyelinization, ataxia, and dementia. Galactocerebrosidase catalyzes galactocerebroside to ceramide, and a deficiency causes galactocerebroside to build up, known as crab disease. Peripheral neuropathy, destruction of the oligodendrocytes, developmental delay, and optic atrophy, and globoid cells result. Glucocerebrosidase catalyzes glucocerebroside to ceramide, and a deficiency causes glucocerebroside to build up, resulting in Gaucher disease. Named after the Gaucher cells that result, which are lipid laden macrophages that resemble crumpled tissue paper, pancytopenia, which is a decrease in the number of red and white blood cells along with the platelets, osteoporosis, bone crisis, hepatosplenomegaly, and avascular necrosis of the femur. Sphingomyelinase catalyzes sphingomyelin to ceramide, and the deficiency causes sphingomyelin to build up. This disease is called Neiman Pick disease. It is characterized by progressive neurodegeneration, hepatosplenomegaly, foam cells, which are lipid laden macrophages, and a cherry red spot on the macula. Heparin sulfate and dermatin sulfate are glycosaminoglycans that are broken down in the lysosome by the enzymes alpha L iteronidase and iteronate 2 sulfatase. Having a deficiency of alpha L iteronidase results in Hurler syndrome. It causes heparin sulfate and dermatin sulfate to accumulate, leading to a developmental delay, gargoyalism, airway obstruction, corneal clouding, and hepatosplenomegaly. A deficiency in idurinate 2 sulfatase results in Hunter syndrome, which is a mild case of Hurler syndrome, minus the corneal clouding, but having aggressive behavior. Hunter syndrome is an X linked recessive disorder as well. That's all for this lesson of Step 1 of You. We'll see you in the next video.